I just find it so impressive that, um, you know, Ryan Day took over this program uh, when Urban Meyer placed the, you know, ceremonious whistle around his neck after the Rose Bowl game in, in January of 19 and uh, basically handed him the keys to a, a, a Maserati. And Ryan Day has just put it on, on, on full throttle cruise control and, and frankly made, made this program even better. Um, it, I, I'm not saying I'm surprised. I'm, I'm just impressed. I mean, it's, I, I've, I've said several times publicly, I think Ohio state has very easily one of the best college football coaches in America. I, I think the world of Ryan day, I think he is exactly the kind of coach that you want to be the face of your program in 2021. He, he can handle all of the different things that come with, you know, that job and do it in a way that uh, instills confidence in his team. Um, he's extremely relatable to players. He's He's got a ton of energy, but he kind of meets you where you are. Um, and his ability to to do that both in game and in recruiting has, has solidified this Ohio State program as truly one of the elites uh, in college football when everybody was you know, justifiably a little worried when Urban Meyer was was going to step away. Um, Ryan Day's done an incredible job. So really impressed, and, and especially on the recruiting side, I mean, to see what he's done here with these uh, first couple classes and, and what he's got a chance to do with 22 is, is awfully cool. Yeah, and and I, I think brand is a big is is a big oh, factor in that is. for sure. Uh, and, and but you still have to go out and do it right. Sure. And what one of the things about Ryan Day that you know in my limited interactions with him um, that I found to be uh, pretty interesting is his ability to coach people differently and coach kids differently depending on what that specific player needs, um, which is not always the case in college football. In fact, I would say that is most definitely the exception, Uh, a lot in, in, especially uh, in more, these more like modern college football times that a lot of it is kind of take it or leave it. Uh, This is how I am. And if you can't handle how I am, um, you know, there's the transfer portal, right? Uh, and and I think, you know, with the increases in salaries and, and then obviously ego comes along with that, that I think uh, that is kind of a natural progression of things, uh, you know, and, and I think you're seeing that a little bit in the SEC right now with some of the top heavy success uh, a little bit, that there's a lot of like very prototypical, like one style coaches in the SEC, and they're not getting the best out of, out of that talent and recruiting pool uh, because of that. Um, so I, I think Ryan Day, his ability to relate differently to, to players has been probably his best asset. I remember uh, JT Barrett said in his last year at Ohio State that Ryan Day told him uh, that leadership is like a, 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 a set of golf clubs and you have like different clubs for different situations, different clubs for different difference or different uh, uh, distances. And you have to approach leadership in that same way that like, each person needs to be led probably in in a unique way specific only to them and that Ryan really embraced that when he got to Ohio State and that quote has really stuck with me now for for 4 or 5 years because when you when you affected you know such a type A but also stoic guy like JT Barrett who by you know at that point in time was uh you know, had, had been doing an incredible things at, at Ohio State quarterback position uh, for a while. And then Brian Day is the new guy at that point. And you affected him and influenced him in that dramatic of a way that says a lot about uh, how he was as a coach and how he was as a man. And so to see him then take over the mantle from Urban Meyer, who is this, you know, colossus in college football for a lot of reasons, uh, and then to make it his own, really from the word go, I think is is pretty unique and special. And I think he deserves a, a lot of credit for that. Because I also think he did the one thing that that uh, Urban Meyer maybe was never quite able to do, and and that's to be able to pull uh, and influence people in basically every direction. I think Urban maybe had his favorites, and, and those guys were ride or dies. And then there are a lot of people that kind of you know, rising tide, raising all boats, so to speak, came along with that. You can tell that Ryan Day is one over every single person in that locker room. And that's a special thing. 